approaching Torch's Island. Well for yourself, but you're in the arena now. Meet Joss and Volk, husband and wife, tough as Durasteel, undefeated and still eager to prove himself. I will destroy you!
over. Then that's how it starts off. Go is by better, Rito. time we met. You're the one they call Torch? Shea Visla. That little nickname the locals came up with. Hell if I know why. He recently had a falling out with the Revenites and the Nova Blades. I could use your help. I'm sure you could, Jedi. Tell you what. Instead of whatever grand gesture of cooperation you thought might happen here, why don't we try something a little different? Been a while since I had a decent challenge. I'm taking this opportunity to show my clan how it's done. Ardrosha! Oh. Try harder! Haha! <laughs> yes! Ardrosha! Oh. No more practice! Pushing yourself or not? Haha, <laughs> yes! Judge! <laughs> Pushing yourself or not? Try harder! Yes! Playtime! 
time's over. I'm taking you down. Not bad. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Been a while since someone's given me a fight like that. You should be proud. I can see how you earned your reputation. Likewise. And speaking of earning things, I'd say you've earned a bit of intel for that performance. You were asking about the Revenites, right? We were the ones who hooked them up with the Nova Blades. Even helped them win a scrap or two. Once they started the secret manipulating all-out war nonsense, I pulled us out. I've had my fill of war. Did the Revenites tell you anything else about their plans? I'm afraid not. I do know they've got a whole fleet of warships tucked away somewhere on this planet. Never gave me any real details or coordinates, but they're here. If you want to find them and smash them up, more power to you. I liked this place a lot better before they showed up. If you want to join the fight, you'd be welcome. I'll keep it in mind. Pretty sure I've got enough to do around here, though. Let's get you patched up, Vode. I've been going too easy on you! Barcento! You know how long I've been meaning to find you? Kept hoping we'd do this on Tython. But when the force gets pushy, says beyond Rishi in three days, you'll know why. Well, I make an extra effort, and here you are. Your Master Oa? That I am. Here to help build your holocron. Ready to start? What do we do? There are some nuances. It's not just a recorded message. It's an interactive program, a reflection of your mind. A holocron can speak, answer questions. It can't think, but it will have the knowledge and memories you provide. On Tython, I worked with our ancestors teaching holograms. On Coruscant, I recovered the Noeticons, which contained recordings of multiple Jedi. The Noeticons! Fabulous devices. You understand them. First thing is to scan your brain, establish a baseline. For that, we need you at a very particular level of consciousness. On Python, you'd use a meditation chamber to achieve a sushir state of serenity. But every culture has similar rituals. We'll make do with what Rishi provides. The Rishi people must have traditions for reaching higher states of consciousness. What do we know of them? I did some reading. There's a Rishi shamanic blessing similar to the one used by the Jawas of Tatooine. Anything else? The Sushir state attunes your mind to the Force. That could mean dreams, visions of the past and future. Embrace them. The reeds represent life and the structure of life. Feel the toughness of their forms, and within, sense the flow of the Force. Breathe with the wind as you gather them. Smell their sap. If you hear voices through the Force, past or present, do not fear. Master Yuan is taking a new apprentice. Let the waters rid you of everything but self. There is no emotion. There is peace. The hand closes. The rejuvenation begins. Now. There is a place sacred to the Rishi. Build a fire from the reeds there, and we will proceed. Arsenthor, the equipment is ready. Try to relax during the brain scan. The crystal matrix is developing, but it has to anchor itself on your experiences and knowledge. I'll ask you questions as the Force guides me. The holocron will record your answers. Ask your questions, Master Oa. The Republic may not fall tomorrow, but in a thousand futures it falls eventually. 
one way or another. I see a half-trained Jedi in the forests of Sarkai, where your apprentice bore your holocron after your death. The half-trained Jedi wants weapons to fight those who destroyed the Republic. She wants vengeance. What answer do you give? I've fought every day since I became a Jedi, but nothing good comes of vengeance. I can help her control her emotions. So she learns, and she fights, and she wins victories and dies. I can't see if the Republic is restored. In another time, I see a Sith find your holocron. He loathes you. Your soldier died to defeat his great-grandsire. He seeks to learn what made you strong. Walk your path on the now-ruined world of Tython. Will you guide him? He walks my path, sees what I've seen and learns what I've learned. And the galaxy will have nothing to fear from him. He does see what you saw, but he resists it. He kills before the lesson takes. In the end, though, he redeems his home. You already have many titles. Jedi Master, Barsenthor, Herald. You could bear others. Seneschal, Hierophant of the Jal She, Betrayer of Balmora. Which will you choose as your legacy? When your holocron is activated, how will it name itself? I was named Barsenthor, Warden of the Order by the Jedi Council. I aspire to be worthy of the name. It's how I'd like to be remembered. Then we're done. You've got yourself a holocron. Now all you need to do is spend your life filling it. I don't know where your next fight is, my friend. I don't know if any of us will make it through the year. But if I outlast you, I promise to protect what we built today, if I can. You've done me a great kindness. It's good to know that whatever happens, I'll leave behind something of value. It's my privilege to serve a council member. May the Force be with you. And you. We can't afford to be so reckless, Jakaro. Losing Theron is bad enough. What if we lost you too? Now, now, everyone, stay calm. Queen Lena of Onderon once faced a similar predicament, and her solution was quite creative. Shut up, droid! What's going on? Where's Theron? He was captured. The Nova Blades data listed a Revenite safe house here in town, and when we tried to investigate... <laughs> Theron is the only one the Revenite saw. They may not know about the rest of us. If so, we need to maintain that advantage. If we move quickly, we may be able to catch up before the Revenites disappear again. They already have. Please, this is not the time for reckless heroics. I really think you're all much too worried. They took him alive! That's a good sign! They're probably just torturing him a bit. Maybe doing some interrogation, where he could tell them about us. Oh no! That won't be an issue. Theron has several discreet implants to help him ignore pain and chemical manipulation. A powerful Force user may still be able to learn what he knows. I've never been able to... Yes, I've tried. I'm sure it's no surprise. Theron's mind is highly ordered, very resolute, probably due to his childhood training by the Jedi. He'll keep our secrets and we will rescue him. But right now, we need to focus and think it all through, just like he would. You're right. We need to stick to the mission. When we find the Revenites, we'll find Theron. Precisely. If we're fortunate, he may even learn a bit about their plans. Now, what did you learn from the Mandalorians? Revan has a hidden fleet here on Rishi. He's preparing for some kind of battle. A hidden fleet? Pirates altering shipping lanes? That's it. They aren't just affecting the shipping lanes, they're also changing Imperial and Republic patrol paths. Revan is trying to draw them into a battle. Here, over Rishi. With his own ships in the mix, both fleets could be devastated. That must be his goal. Weakening both sides so that he can make his own play. We have to find some way to interfere. I know where to find them! <laughs> After they caught Theron, I intercepted their transmissions. After that, triangulating their base was a simple calculation. I completed it almost 87 seconds ago. They're on a small island not far from here. 
The native Rishi have a trading village on the same island. I'm sure they'd give us comfortable lodging. Then let's go. We need to clean up any trail we might have left here. You go on, we'll meet you shortly. Oh, I used to love cleaning. Greetings. We watched you fighting on the beach. The other off-worlders were very unkind. We are much friendlier. Have you come to trade? Do you need lodgings? Outsiders are always welcome here. Thank you for the warm welcome. I'm surprised you're so open to outsiders. We love outsiders. You all have such interesting things to say. <laughs> An entirely new off-worlder. We've never encountered your language. Please, speak more. Oh, there's no need for that, I assure you. I can speak quite well for both of us. Allow me to introduce... The second head speaks too. I assumed it was decorative. How fascinating. You mentioned the other off-worlders earlier. The ones who attacked me. What do you know about them? We don't know much. I'm afraid they usually avoid us. It seems a little rude, but we know that our ways are different. They have some camps on the island. They wear different colors, dark in one, light in the other, but they all work together, like you. Revenites. Some from the Republic, some from the Empire. I think you're right. I'm still going over the data Theron decoded from the Nova Blades. Go to those camps and interfere any way you can. It may still be possible to turn them away from Revan's teachings. If so, I'll find a way. Whatever works, just don't take too long. All right, you're here. You got us. And what's it gonna be, Jedi? Did you come to spout your narrow-minded drivel? Or do you have something more permanent in mind? I'd rather avoid any more killing, wouldn't you? If you wanted to stop the bloodshed, you'd be on our side. We've sworn to overthrow the governments who've kept the galaxy divided for so long. To end this war. How can you possibly justify standing in our way? You're betraying the Republic, causing thousands of deaths, all on the word of a single madman. Revan sees through the lies. He knows how to save the galaxy. From what? War? Revan's been fighting this war for centuries. He's obsessed with it. The man you're following says he's going to save us all, but he's manipulating and killing quite a lot of us along the way. Will there be anyone left to save when he's done? I... I don't know. What do you want from me? Huh? Why are you saying all of this? I believe you want to do what's right. And if you go back to the Republic, you still can. You're serious? Just like that, huh? After everything that's happened? Why not? This is crazy. All right. I can't speak for everyone, but... I'll give the Republic one last shot. We're with you, Cap. Uh... Thanks. For all this. And... Good luck.
Hmm. With all of the security alerts, I was expecting more. Let's settle this, Jedi, before any more time is wasted with your pointless interruption. Enough blood has been spilled on Revan's account. We can stop that if we work together. I'm afraid I'm not interested. You're back. The Rishi told us about some disturbances in the camps. I dealt with them both. Theron is being held in another Revanite stronghold nearby. Do we know anything about it? The Valley facility. We just learned about it ourselves. The Rishi tell us there are quite a few starships hidden in the vicinity. Revan's fleet. Precisely. And according to the Nova Blades data logs, his plan is moving swiftly. Fleets from the Empire and Republic are approaching as we speak. These aren't just small patrol groups. Both navies have gathered their most powerful warships. They're being overseen directly by Darth Maa and Satil Shan. Critical leaders for a critical battle. Revan's deception has been very effective. <laughs> what do we know about the Revanite facility? It seems to be their primary operating center on Rishi. Heavy security with only one clear path of approach. You'll have to attack straight on if we're to have any hope of rescuing Theron and stopping this fleet battle. Then that's what I'll do. We'll assist you any way that we can. May the Force serve you well. I got you. Ne to to buga. Oh, chaka na gurawa. Find the communications terminal and activate it. I'll attempt to slice in remotely. And in. Theron's toys make all of this slicing much simpler than I'd imagined. Can you find any hard data on his location? Let's see. Here we are. Recorded interrogation sessions. Coordinates are included. I'll forward them along. What about Revan? No information either way. I'd advise caution. I got you. Ne to to buga. Chapawa. You've interfered in.
Another pointless attack. Where's Theron? He and I have had some interesting conversations. My own flesh and blood, completely blind to the sacrifices I've made. I've struggled for centuries to preserve the galaxy. To protect future generations from the most destructive evil that's ever existed. How can none of you see this? Do you speak of the Sith? The Dark Side? The Jedi have defeated them many times. We don't need your ruthless manipulations. You do. You just refuse to see it. You're here. Come on, we have to go. Now. Theron! Escaped all on your own. I hoped I would have more time to make you see. He's got a signal jammer that's blocking all starship communications in the Risi system. The fleets will come out of hyperspace practically on top of each other. No coordination, saboteurs in every crew. It'll be a massacre. And at last, the board will be cleared of distractions. Self-destruct sequence. Come on, we've gotta go. Look out! I got you. Need to buga. Hello? Is everyone all right? Lana? You shut down the self-destruct? I'm beginning to get the hang of this slicing business. <sighs> I've created a monster. You should hurry back. The Republic and Imperial fleets will be arriving very soon. I'll return immediately. I'll meet you there. Need to grab a few things on the way out. Attacking from the air is pointless. The anti-air defenses are much too thick. I'm afraid of them, doesn't that count? What are our other options? I think a surface attack is our only real shot at taking the jammer down. Leave that to me. Perfect. We'll arrange transportation for you. You've got to move fast. The fleets are going to be dropping out of hyperspace any second now. The longer we take... <clears throat> the longer we take, the more we'll lose. We'll get the jammer shut down in time, Theron. Focus on your own recovery. I wish I could. I need to finish slicing the last of these Nova Blake files. They have data on every ship with Revenite infiltrators aboard. As soon as the jamming clears, we'll have to broadcast everything we've got to convince the fleets to cease fire and lock up the Revenites and their crews. One last thing since Lana stepped out. Watch your back. I'm starting to think my little visit to the Revenites might have been her idea. You think she's working for the Revenites? No, but I don't think she's putting all her cards on the table either. Just stay alert, all right? I won't let my guard down. Good. Enough conspiracy talk. Get out there and take that jammer down.